Hey everyone, welcome back. My name is Lynn and welcome to my home. So what are we talking about tonight? I'm gonna to talk to you about Dollar General and hint toward Dollar Tree. We're gonna chat about some changing prices and what we think about it. And I'm also gonna to talk to you about things that I'm doing to relieve stress in my life. It has to do with Dollar General and it has to do with some other things. So stay tuned and let's get caught up to date on what's happening in the Wilson household. So one of the things you're probably saying, where's Lynn? Why isn't she consistent? Why isn't she putting out videos? Well, just life. It's just life. And um, I have been beyond emotionally stressed, I guess is the best way to say it. And the good news is, as I went to lunch brunch today with a good friend and somebody that befriended me and I didn't know I needed her in my life, and now that she's in my life, I can't imagine life without her. Does that sound good? She's probably one of the only friends that I have that I feel I can be really real with. I have lots of friends and lots of acquaintances, but this particular woman, I could be bluntly honest in how I feel. Like, I mean, as blunt as I can be, this is the real me and this is how I'm really feeling. And she doesn't judge me. And I am so appreciative of that. Most times I feel like I'm always having to, because of the work, the type of work that I do, I need to go on stage um, and have a stage presence of everything is, yeah, it's all good. That type of a facade. Why am I telling you this? Because there's somebody out there that's going through stress. You don't need to name what it, the stress is, nor am I going to tell you what my stresses are, but we're all in life and life brings stress. And if you're not having a stressful day, good for you because that's very far and few in between for most of us. And some things in the last two weeks have just, you know, gotten to me and I, I felt very alone and I talked to two people that brightened my spirits and helped me think and helped me process. I had a cup of coffee and then I decided I'm gonna clean out my bathroom closet, which has been driving me crazy and I so wish not thinking I should have done it before and after. So I went through it and it was one of those closets where I thought I had cleaned it out weeks ago, months ago. Like it just feel, feels like I just did it. And every time I opened it, I closed it. I'm not in there often, but when I do go in there, it's like, oh my word, who lives in this house? Who made that closet look like that? So I cleaned out the closet. And I have been decluttering. I told you I had a few days off. I have been not only decluttering, but organizing. More organizing than decluttering. And let me show you a little bit of what I'm talking about. So you're quickly going to see things we're giving to an addiction recovery center, things going to a thrift store, things that are for church, for vacation Bible school, stacks of things that Easter I have to put away, food I'm giving away, these Dunkin' Donuts things are going to be on the video. Stuff for church, for other events. Garbage is piled up because it's pouring outside and Kip just wants to say hello to everyone. So here are four big bags of garbage of things that came out of my closet when I cleaned it out. Okay, you saw it, yeah, yeah. How many bags of garbage can one person get out of a bathroom closet? Now, with that, there are some large containers, like storage containers. So as much as there were four bags of garbage, it's probably garbage, maybe one, half a bag to three quarters of the bag of little things. And the rest were these containers that either were so old that, you know, I probably have had them my whole married life chipped on the corner, but you know, they're still good. I decided, you know what, I'm done with that. I got rid of them. And we wiped down the shelves and we reorganized it and I labeled everything. And you know what? Labeling to me is one of the best things because my son, and many of you know, has is special needs, so to speak, with some stuff. And even my husband on days where his epilepsy is making him a little foggy brained, they can easily go in and if I say, get me a shampoo, there is the aisle for the shampoos or the toothpaste or whatever the case might be.
So that's some of our overflow items that we have in there. It, I thinned it out. I probably got rid of three quarters of the stuff in there. We had a lot of ACE bandages and a lot of t those types of things. My husband over, you know, 35 plus years of marriage has had seizures, fell, fallen down our basement stairs, our bedroom stairs, did this, did that, had ACE bandages and wraps and all kinds of stuff that we've come home with the hospital. And we've just saved it thinking for the next time. So we thinned that out quite a bit, probably kept a third of it, got rid of the rest. And, you know, there were things in there. I said, where did this come from? We got rid of it. Some of it's going to be donated. Um, extra shampoos and things that, again, you know, I don't know. We were given things along the way and I kept them thinking just in case. Well, we're never going to use it. There are things that we don't use on the regular. I'm going to pass those along. We have a table at work for our coworkers that we can leave bits and bobs out. And I'm going to put some of that stuff out there. And then all the other things that you saw. Yeah, I have stuff that's going for Vacation Bible School. And I have stuff we're donating to um, a charity for men that need some clothing. We have bags for that. And I have garbage, bags of garbage. But as you can see, let me show you what it's been doing in New Jersey for two weeks. See the pouring rain my basement's been flooded for two months because of the rain we are continuing to have rain four days straight this week Eww, i'm kind of tired of the rain so there's a pile of garbage sitting here because our garbage bin area is way over there and it's been pouring and i'm not having my son go out in that so we have a stack of garbage hopefully tomorrow morning it's supposed to let up for like an hour we can get the garbage out and I can get all this stuff that's going to the men's addiction recovery out, the garbage out, the stuff that I have sorted and collected for Vacation Bible School. Get all that out in the van and deliver all that tomorrow. Yes and amen. So that's what's been keeping me busy behind the scenes. Things that you don't see and a bunch of day trips over this past week. But let me talk to you about another stress reliever, at least for me. And many of you are going to disagree, and that's fine. But, you know, we all need to find things that work for us. And the one lady I was talking today, and she was saying about stacking joy. And that we need to stack some joy in our life. Things that bring us joy and stack them in our day. And I had heard that from a pastor, and I had forgotten about that. And I was glad she reminded me of it. What things, little things, bring you joy? Maybe it's watching All Things Home with Lynn. I always like to say something like that. Maybe it's calling a friend. Maybe it's, um, you know, reading a good book. Maybe it's watching a certain movie on TV. Maybe it's, um, I don't know, cleaning out your bathroom closet. You know, something as simple as that is mindless. I didn't have to think about it. But it was a closet that nobody would see. Nobody would ever know what that closet looked like, but it drove me crazy. It was just something that for months and months, I think since last summer, I've wanted to get in there and reorganize. And it's one of those things that I'll do it tomorrow. I'll do it next week. I'll add it to the to-do list. But getting in there, I just opened it and I said, that's it, I'm doing it. And I cleaned it out to realize I don't need some of this. I don't want some of this. Why do I even have this? And it brought me such joy to move it out and to reorganize it and to now open it and feel like it's fairly empty and it's organized and I know what I have and it brought me joy. So check that box. Go ahead, start laughing because some of you might laugh. I am so thankful for Dollar General. We have two, one that I could walk to and the other one that's maybe five minutes from my house by car. One is a very small one, very the one I can walk to. You know, you need a quick something, you can get it. If I need more, I go to the big one. The big one has produce, huge frozen section of foods and, you know, milk products and cheeses and tons, tons of canned goods. And it's huge. It's huge. It's wonderful. It's got everything.
walking through the other day and I needed coffee and Graham needed cough syrup. And I went and I got coffee. I always look for their coffee, $5.95 when they go on sale. And I found Dunkin' Donuts, which is one of my favorite K-Cups. Graham likes the Colombian and I get the original. And I needed coffee. And then I just strolled around and I love these Folgers. Um, I love instant coffee. I know it's kind of a weird thing to like. I like instant coffee. I've been on an instant coffee kick. Um, about three weeks ago, I just felt like instant coffee and I like these. It's a dollar for seven. So it's fairly cheap. I think it's reasonable. You get seven cups of coffee out of it for $1. You know how much one cup of coffee is if you go out and they're in little, little packets. I think I have one in here that I left. Yeah, I put the rest away, but I just wanted to show you. It's a little packet, makes one cup of coffee. If you use a Keurig, to get hot water, it's the littlest button. I guess it would be like a teacup size. That makes the perfect cup of coffee. And um, I like these for work. If we go to my mom's house or someone's house, I can bring instant coffee. Most times they have milk and sugar. I can bring my coffee and we're in good shape. So I picked those up and I just strolled around and I was just enjoying myself, looking at all the things. I Again, I went in there for certain things. Um, I made pear pie. You ever have pear pie? My favorite. Made that for Easter. We had some leftover, brought it home from my mom's, and Grandma and I were like, we need ice cream to go with it. So I went and they had ice cream on sale, and I needed coffee, and then I strolled around, and I'm on a tea kick as well. So I picked up some flavored tea. Gavin loves that as well. And I, I picked this up for the stockpile. I do not need it. It's easy enough to make pizza sauce. But I thought, you know what? It was $1.35, it was a small jar of pizza sauce, and it's actually the perfect size for our family because we wouldn't use a big jar. This is 9.3 ounces for $1.35. And I happened to see it and I thought, I'm gonna grab that for the stockpile to make English muffin pizzas or toast pizza, whatever. One day when I need a quick something, I don't have to think, I don't have to tomato sauce and get out all the spices. I know that I have a quick, fast food type meal in my pantry that I can whip out. Other things that I love going to Dollar General and looking at, my coworker put me onto this Fit Fruit Berry Mix Fruit Strips. And I'm sorry, it seems like there's a glare on there. Is there a glare? I hope not. And they're all fruit. It's 100% fruit. But at least our Dollar Generals, they knock them down to 90% off. So I got a bag of jelly beans. We love jelly beans, but these are going on my desk at work. I always have a little dish of candy for any of my staff to come by. 90% off, so I paid pennies for this. So the day after Easter, you can go in there and get 90% off. And then I love all their seasonal, you know, tchotchkes and all the rest. And I got this stuff. One dollar. It's a little trinket tray, and my husband and I have this pet peeve more that I have it. But wallet and keys. Honey, where's your wallet and keys? Uh, 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 no. And I've tried baskets and I've tried other things. So I got this. I haven't shown it to him yet. But I got this more of a um, kind of a ha-ha funny joke. But um, this is where your stuff will go. We will put your stuff on the stuff tray. And for one dollar, I thought that was great. He could put that by his nightstand and his keys and his wallet every night. That's the two things he needs to make sure are on there. You know, when you're stressed out or you're having a rough day or a long day or whatever, I am thankful for things like Dollar General. I know that they get a bad rap and I know I hear, you know, people complain. I can stroll there though and I could get salad dressing and not have to look at 5,000. No, it's not 5,000, but it feels like you go to certain stores, like, you know, a major grocery store, even Walmart, uh, you know, and you're super Walmart and you're standing there going, I just needed ranch dressing. And there's so many choices. I don't know, maybe I'm getting older and I don't want as many choices. I like options and I like choices, but there are days where I'm so overwhelmed in life. Don't give me choices. I need coffee. I need ranch dressing. I need a bag of chips and I need ice cream and I want simplicity. Yeah, I don't know, how do you feel about that? Like I just, I really appreciate the simplicity of a Dollar General. Now Dollar Tree 
has some things and if you have a really good Dollar Tree by you, they have some frozen and so on. Keeping life, life less stressful, stacking that joy wherever you can find joy and to go to a small store and pick up a few items. Now, is everything there perfectly priced? Where can you go? What store can you go where everything's perfectly priced? Speaking of, we'll be talking about this in future videos. You all know, I'm sure by now, and if you don't know, Dollar General, I mean, not excuse me, Dollar Tree is changing their prices. They used to be their plus was from three to five. Their plus is going up to $7. Supposedly they're bringing in better products and um, around the store, the dollar 25, it, yes, it still exists and will always exist. They have some items now a dollar 75 to 25 and so on. You do have the convenience of maybe having a dollar tree down the street. You're gonna have to make your choices on what you wanna spend your money on and what you don't wanna spend your money on. But for me, again, I probably would shoot over there for a few odds and ends because of the dollar 25 items most definitely with dollar general is if you spend money during the week every receipt you get a five dollar coupon so if you go on saturday and spend 25 dollars or more you can get five dollars off what things do you do to relieve stress what things do you do to stack joy in your life i simply am getting things out of the house that these are projects that I needed to work on, but it's time to go. You see my dining room, it is full, but that's okay because these are things that are up and coming. Two events at church, we're donating to an addiction recovery. I'm collecting my Easter and seasonal things. I'm packing that up. We're going through, I've been doing a lot of canning, so I'm sorting my canning stuff. So even though I have piles in my dining room, there's a purpose in these piles and now they're moving out tomorrow and that felt good. That stacked a little joy. That closet is a disaster. Okay, take one thing at a time, maybe one closet, maybe one kitchen drawer, maybe one bag that you have stashed in the corner. Maybe it's your pocketbook, just clean out your pocketbook. You know, maybe it's, I don't know, some papers by the back door of mail that you needed to go through. Maybe it's your glove box in your car. Don't take on a whole room. Don't take on a whole house. Take on one small thing and stack the joy where you can stack the joy. You know, no one else is going to give you all the joy that you need. Sometimes you have to find it in your own Taking way. Taking a spin over to Dollar General or Dollar Tree, looking at the seasonal things, just taking a stroll. It's not a big store. It's not chaotic. It's not like I have to park way down there because the store is packed. I don't have to see a lot of people. I can browse, I can pick up ice cream, I can pick up coffee. I don't have to pick up anything. I can just stroll, not be overwhelmed when I need a bottle of ranch dressing that there's 5,000 to choose from. So I brought you a mixed bag of things. I just wanted to fill you in about Dollar General and how and why I like to shop there. Talk about the Dollar Tree prices. Mm, we'll have to see how that goes talk about what I've been happening what's been happening here at the Wilson household with organizing and there you go that's what you have for tonight hope you enjoyed the video we'll catch you all on the next one